Traditionally, it is low season at this time of the year for the tourism sector in Orange Walk, but business today is bad. Hotels, restaurants, and tour operators have been losing money since the health of the New River began slowly deteriorating over the course of many weeks. Raul Pelayo, who preferred to comment off camera, owns Lamanai Riverside Retreat. He has been in business for about 25 years in the heart of Orange Walk Town at the bank of the river. Here he offers rooms and runs a restaurant. Since May, business here has been very slow. We, we try to fight it out, but we do have uh, tourists that have come in and they are not able to buy food from the restaurant because, I mean, how can you eat when you're smelling that pungent scent that comes out of the river? You know, it's difficult for them. Difficult for me. This morning, as, as I'm speaking to you, you know, this morning I had all my rooms canceled that I was supposed to get in some guests. I was supposed to get some guests yesterday. They canceled out again, and I can't give them, you know, I can't blame them, you know. I have five rooms, and if I get five rooms full, that's it for me. But some days I could have three, some days I could have four, some days it's all full, but right now we're talking zero. Total zero. If three was good for me, totally zero is, we're maxed out. For many weeks now. Oh yes, for, for a partly, partly a month and a half since the water started like this. Orlando de la Fuente runs two hotels and a restaurant all nestled along the river. The tours that we do, um, the area of the river between here, Maracas, and the Toll Bridge has been one of the most abundant in wildlife and birds and crocs because it's hardly traveled. We are the only tour operator that departs the Lamanai from Orange Walk. But, um, we have had to change our departure point to Toll Bridge because this isn't a site that we want our guests to see or smell. Two of his businesses, El Gran Mestizo Riverside Cabins and Maracas Bar and Grill, have been hit the hardest. And we have had cancellations here at Maracas for reservations. Business has fallen. Uh, it started like we, we had a 20%, 25%. And then during the month of, um, of August, it went down to like 50%. Uh, the last month of August, the last month of August, um, our business fell by, fell by about 60 percent, and um, we have a staff of 14, and everybody's taking a taking a cut in their hours so that I don't have to lay off anybody. But the truth is, if it continues like this, I will have to lay off some people because it's just not sustainable. Like De La Fuente, the situation has forced Raúl Pelayo to make tough decisions. It's difficult when you have to go into your pocket and pay the salaries. So I, I didn't fire them, but I laid them out for two days and I give them 50% pay. Okay. That's how bad it has been. Yes, that's the way it is. I don't want to lose them. Like I said, they're good workers and they, they really are fine people. And they are not the only ones feeling the strain. A string of businesses are visible along the highway starting from the toll bridge. The future of these businesses remains uncertain, especially since there is no way of saying when or even if the river will clear up. Before the 25 years, I was here 10 years before that, so that would be like 35 years. And of course, I've never seen the river so, so uh, bad as it is today. I've never seen it in my 35 years of being here. Dalilai Kal for News 5.